Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new series of Civilization VI. This is the Rise and Fall expansion, and this will be my first actual playthrough of Rise and Fall. Um, we're starting in the ancient era with huge map size, and let's go with, say, a Pangea map. I haven't played on that one yet. I maxed out the random leaders that we're going to run into, so it should be a pretty good time. So let's go ahead and start. We ourselves are a random leader, so we won't know who we are until we get into it. So let's just do that. So we randomly rolled into Cleopatra for my first game in Rise and Fall here. Um, looks like trading is going to be a really big deal here. And rivers. So hopefully we can get a nice river to settle on. Um, I think Pangeo should have some rivers in the middle of it. If not, that would prove very difficult. We have the Marianu Chariot Archer as our unique land unit and the Sphinx as our unique improvement. So we'll see where we land in the randomly generated map and we'll see if we run into a city-state or do we run into another civilization first. This is the most exciting part of the game for me is the brand new, the unknown. And this is about as unknown as you can get. So I will see you when we're in game. So we're greeted with a brand new menu here in Civilization VI Rise and Fall. The guide will introduce you to the new features. Awesome. Earn, yes, uh, historic moments. So we have sort of a legacy built and that builds into our era score. We can try to get into a golden age and if we don't get enough era score, we actually enter a dark age. So that is brand new and pretty awesome. Indeed, there is our era score, yes. Loyalty. So this is going to be brand new for me and something I may struggle with this first playthrough. Uh, if loyalty ever reaches zero, they may rebel and become a free city. Open the claims by militaries or loyalty pressure. So we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Governors are brand new for the expansion as well. Governors have unique abilities. So when we have the opportunity to install our first governor, I'll sit back and I'll take a look at what a governor would be best indeed. Alliances are now specialized. Each provides a distinct advantage. So I like this. Uh, the old alliance system in Civ 6 didn't... It wasn't that clear. But now we have trade alliance, economic alliance, you know, military alliance. It makes more sense. Uh, band together to declare emergency. So this is interesting. Uh, with all of these people, uh, we could have essentially a world war on our hands. So that would be pretty cool. A city banner has been updated to provide clarity and critical information. Very nice. All right. So our first drop here, our settler is right on the river, and we don't have... We have access to stone right away. Um, if we... And sheep, not bad. Uh, we're just one away from marble, which is nice. I think this would be a good starting place for us indeed. Let's settle our first city, Rock Hadet. And our warrior, so which way are we going to head first? There's got to be some barbarians around. But I believe let's go south. All right. First production shall be the monument. We'll try to grow our city as fast as possible. Our first research, because we do have sheep, that would be nice for animal husbandry. And, I mean, the stone for mining... So I think we need to get on stone as soon as possible. Excellent. So first turn in the books of 500. Will the barbarians poke their nose around our city? It seems we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. We must destroy the stronghold or risk future attacks. Thank you, advisor. Um, I would like to know... Oh, they're right over there. I see, I see. So they're within eyesight. Um, maybe I should have went with a slinger first. It's never too late to change. And indeed, a slinger looks to be the best way to go. So we spent a turn on that, but we should be fine. I don't think these barbarians are going to come at us with any uh, speed. We'll cross the river. That way we can get some... Oh, so we didn't unveil a lot. I do like the desert next to us. That would make the Petra pretty powerful if we can uh, get to the Petra. And these barbarians don't look like they are uh, going to come at us. 
It's a minor defeat, so we will hold and fortify there. See if they want to come at us. In the meantime, maybe another scout will, uh, will come by. Interesting to see if their, their scout might have went uh, somewhere else. And if we see these warriors head out, then we know a good general direction of our neighbors... Which should be fine is Rock Cadet working food. Excuse me. Is Rock Cadet working food? Uh, yeah, two food and two production. That seems to be. You know what? Let's get the three food. Yeah, I think that would be better just for the growth. Get a second person in the city as soon as possible. And once our slinger is popped, then we can try to, uh, get, to yes, grow. I know, the city has grown. And next time we will grow even more. I do like the uh, the layout, the turns, and the, the population over here in the middle. So we should get our slinger right away. First... Indeed. So we'll move our slinger up and try to do a sort of um, surrounding and get that uh, barbarian camp done. We're one turn into the monument, but I think a scout would be beneficial as well. So next turn, we'll move up. Now the slinger's range is just one. He'll need to be on top of him. I think once we can get the slinger on top of the hill. So let's go ahead and prime for that. We'll, we'll come up here. Yes, I know. We are in their zone of control. We'll fortify up. We'll skip that turn. We'll see if they come and attack us. Oh, there's a... They're being attacked by someone else. Outstanding. This is beneficial. 29 hit points, though. They're pretty fortified. Oh, and they're moving on top of the hill for my slinger. Yourself in a hole, quit digging. Indeed. So mining is done. Next research up on the block should probably be animal husbandry since we have those sheep. All right, so the Slinger can get a minor victory there. We want to try to kill the uh, the Barbarians with the Slinger, though, to get that boost to archery. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Smashy, smash, smash. 40 hit points damage. We're not going to kill him, unfortunately. But we should weaken him enough to get the Slinger next time. Outstanding. Our warrior can go in and swoop and take care of that barbarian camp. And everything will be gravy. Hopefully he doesn't suicide into our warriors, though. If he suicides into the slinger, oh, he's running back to camp. Because of course he is. So if we do that, we take the camp, but we don't get the kill with the slinger. Do we play greedy and just fortify up here? I think we can. We'll get on top of the hill. Oh, and we've met the Zulu. Uisa meets Caesar. He's a commander. Let's be nice to, to Z the Zulu. Would you like to visit our nearby city? All right, so Shaka is... Oh, and a booster riding. Outstanding, since we've met the, uh, the foreign warriors. There's the troops of the Zulu, and we imagine he's probably up in here, I would say. So our warrior, let's fortify and go next turn. Hopefully the Zulu doesn't clear that out. Or do we just clear it out and get the guaranteed cash? I think we do for the era score. I would have liked to kill him with the slinger, but we'll take the camp. We'll get the era score. Outstanding. And we get military tradition. Sweet. Now, this was going to be a tad bit confusing. Egypt and Zulu's colors are very, very similar. Three turns away from the scout. Then I think we would be good to get the builder. And then we can wait for the animal husbandry to get the horses and the sheep. As far as our warriors are concerned, do we scout a bit? I think we can. Oh, hello, Amber. That is a brand new resource indeed. Let's head over here with our slinger, see if we can catch something to our north and get this early exploration going. Maybe we can see the Zulu capital. 
We're working on our era score, 4 out of 12. That is outstanding. All right, so we are on the water then, it seems. How about over here? Can we find a wonder nearby, I wonder? We'll also need to go south with our scout next turn, I believe. Is best. Man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Indeed. Brand new policy. Um, I don't know if we're going to be fighting barbarians, and we should be fine with them. I think that would actually go the, the longest way. And I want to try to form uh, a pantheon as quickly as possible. I haven't had a religious victory before, so I think the faith and getting a kickstart on the faith would be good. Yes. Yes, scouts on their way. So, foreign trade, discover the second continent, we may. Um, I don't know if we can improve three tiles. We'll work on foreign trade and use our scout and try to discover that second continent. And besides, with us being sort of trade focused, that would be nice indeed. I don't think, I mean, a settler in 11 turns, or do we go monument for eight? I don't think the Barbarians are going to be that much of a problem, so we should be fine with Warriors and Slingers. Let's work on the Monument to expand those borders. Let's get our Slinger up on the hill. Alright, our Warrior, we don't want to go too far to the north, but we'll see what we can see. There we go, Foreign Trade boosted. We have discovered our second continent. So this one is the continent of Asia America. And we, ourselves, are on the continent of Congo Creighton. You Creighton. All right, let's get our scout a-going. Stand up on that hill. So I see a lot of water nearby. I'm thinking um, we might be on a southern coast here. I sent a Ceremonia Ikloa. Ik ik Their name for the sound they make when pulled from wounds. Oh, nice. Your delegation is most welcome there, Shaka. Do we return the favor and send him a delegation as well? I think it might not hurt to make nice, nice with Shaka. Yes, faith, indeed. So let's work our way back down south. We know Shaka is up to the north. We can't get on that hill. Oh, hello, Babylon. And we have discovered Saladin. I greet you as well. Would you like to come and sample? And we've gotten a city-state. Now, I'm pretty sure we weren't the first uh, to discover Babylon. Belongs to Babylon. Full loyalty. Um, if we were to look at him, yeah, we don't have an envoy here, so we weren't the first to go. So I imagine, yeah, uh, Arabia might have found Babylon first, which is fine. All right, on top of this hill, this place is pretty hilly. We've, we've got some mountains here. I'm thinking our, our campus district and our holy site would be good over here indeed. All right, let's skip that turn there and be good for our next turn. And he has also sent a delegation. It is most welcome. We'll try to make nice nice, get some of these trait routes going should be fine. And we have discovered Yerevan? Okay. So Yerevan, did we get... No, we didn't get an envoy with Yerevan. Let's keep on heading down south, see if we can find any more city-states. So, no natural wonders. A lot of sheep. We're right on the cusp of the desert which would be nice if we can get to Petra. So Rock Cadet might be pretty good once we start settling up here. Where are you following me for? Oh, two I barbarian scouts finished. from two different directions. Interesting indeed. So I bet the camp is going to be somewhere down here. We'll send them back down this way, heal up, and then... Make our way our there. Explorers have spotted another friend. Nice. Goody hut. Right down there. Scouts should make it there. And then for our slinger, we are going to come back home 
as soon as possible, or maybe we can track down this scout and see where it is that he goes. So we have no boosting to anything. Uh, the granary would probably not be nice. We don't have any wheat and rice around us. Oh yeah, we do, right there. So pottery indeed, we shall take that. And then in a few more turns, our monument will be done. We can get a builder out here working these tiles and improving. And then after that, we might be able to do a, um, a settler and head out here. So these scouts are definitely going to see my city. Now, if Yerevan takes care of that, that would be pretty awesome. Let's wheel around here. See if we can see... Oh, the Goody Hut. What am I doing? Yep, I'll turn right. Matter of fact, you guys go there. That way I don't forget it. So he is going to wheel around and head to his camp. Oh, we're friendly with with uh, Shaka. I wonder what his agenda is. Okay, he's definitely running over here. But we want this Goody Hut. All right, let's get our slinger across the way. Oh, it's a shame we couldn't attack there. Let's get our warrior back in friendly territory. And then we can sort of mount a charge on the, the camp that's got to be over here. I keep meaning to send that delegation to, uh, to Shaka and Saladin. Let's go ahead and do that while we're here. We shall send a delegation. But do not think they purchase loyalty. No, I'm just being nice, nice. Tries to use as many corps and armies as possible and respect civ civilizations who follow his lead. Who can't create corps and don't use them. Interesting indeed. We'll send a delegation to Saladin as well. Oh, this is a new tab. Nice. All those alliances. I think that will become uh, handy definitely later. So a major victory with our slinger against this scout. Then why not? Waka. Take that. Three experience points here. And 20 faith. So, yeah, it's a good thing we are, uh, we're sort of playing the faith game. 20 faith from the goody hut. I would have liked money. But you can't win them all. We're two turns away from the monument being built, and hopefully this scout suicides up on our slinger. Nope, he's gonna he's gonna run away. So our slinger won't be able to catch them, but we can form a pantheon. So based on what we have, classical and ancient wonders, culture from pastures might be good. Faith from quarries, though stone circles, we do have one uh, quarry we can make. Border expansion faster. Let's see. Killed within the Holy District. 50 faith for each barbarian outpost cleared. That might be good for the early game. We don't have too many um, luxury resources here. 25% production towards districts in cities without a specialty district. Food from camps. Fishing boats. Great person point from Holy Site Campus and Theater Square districts might not be bad. And a Holy Site adjacent to a river. I mean, we're going to be founding on rivers a lot. I think that would be a good one to go to. So we are working towards the religion. Mysticism improves. And we're going to try to put our Holy District right here uh, along that river. Unit needs orders. Now, we can't chase down that scout. He is going to run for the hills. And there is some barbarian warriors. Interesting indeed. So they gotta be over here somewhere. Our warriors should be healed up shortly. We can uh, we can pursue that scout pretty soon. And I imagine that scout is gonna just hightail it back as soon as he can now that he's damaged. Oh, he's gonna suicide in. Outstanding, now that should boost our archery skills. Indeed. Knowledge of archery has been boosted. All right, so we will fortify until healed here. And as far as our scout is concerned, we'll move up here and see if we can catch him in the north. 
All right, so we have our monument built. I think a builder would be the next course of action for us. And then after the builder, we can afford to uh, grab a settler. Maybe settle this silver, the wheat, the rice. So the warrior was trying to get up on us. That is to be expected. Let's come down this way and cross the river. And as far as our scout is concerned, we can hightail it out of here, I think. At least get up on the hill. So our next research, uh, irrigation allows plantations. Now, I don't think we're going to be getting plantations. Uh, we have archery. The Temple of Artemis, four food and three housing might not be too bad. Uh, writing for our library. I think we need to work on astrology, though. Well, we can get our campus up and running over here and then work on astrology since that one is boosted. I think that one would uh, turn out for the best. And then we can do some improvements here with the wheat, the sheep, and the stone. Quite a mountainous region over here for sure. Now, do we see the camp? Oh, that barbarian warrior is trying to follow us all the way around. Are you, are you, are you crazy, man? All right, so next turn, our slinger should be healed. Our warrior is on his way. We'll see if we can catch a glimpse of... Yeah, that warrior is trying That's his the hardest. That's aspect of trade, I suppose. Excellent. The world gets stirred up together. So we can form trade routes now. Two gold from all trade routes and 100% towards naval units. So I don't think we need to change our policy have, yet. As our um, civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. Awesome. So a governor may be on its way. So mysticism should be good. We get an envoy. Profit points, which would be very handy for founding a religion. And let's get our slinger and warrior up. See if we can find this barbarian camp over here. And let's just play ring around the rosy, shall we? Lead this barbarian away so we can smash his camp with uh, little to no effort. Should be a good time. Oh, we found China. All right. Would you like to sample our goods? So we might send a delegation to China to help him out. Where do we stumble across China at? Oh, here comes a slinger out of the woodwork. So we can attack this slinger for sure, and let's make short work of him. And then we can finish him off with our slinger here as well. We can promote, always good. Take that! All right, so we've got some warriors hiding in the trees. We get bronze working. Ring around the rosy. All right, so... It does look look like the camp is going to be over here. Especially since these warriors are coming out of the woodwork right there. Oh, they're attacking our slinger. We might need to back up our slinger just a touch. Well, they can get promoted. I think a promotion would be very, very good. Spearmen. We can take that. Let's take on the Spearman. There's the Barbarian Camp. Now, as far as our Slinger is concerned, we'll go ahead and promote him up. Yeah, because that would take both movement to get into the trees. We'll just promote him up. And Strength versus Land units. So Slinger's back up to full strength. We now have our Scout. Let's just head on to the... Uh, to the west here and see what we got here I imagine those warriors are going to attack our uh, slingers again it's a shame we can't get the uh, 
these barbarians in. So pretty good defense there, I think. Oh, and they decided to move into both our territories. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Indeed, so we now have a writing. Your grace. I worry about the happiness of our citizens. All right, so what? Oh, minus one amenity. Already, we need a luxury resource. So hopefully, as bonus resource, there's the marble that we can work. So archery and bronze working. I think archery would be very beneficial to get our slinger upgraded. A major victory here, and I don't know if our slinger can finish him off. And if they did, they would probably take enough damage. I mean, we gotta go for it. We have a promotion for our um, our warrior. So we could always promote up if worse comes to worse. They'll at least be pretty heavily damaged. So they won't be able to kill our warrior in one shot, I don't believe. And unfortunately, we can't kill him with the scout. That would have been uh, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we can't move in there. All right, next, turn it up. Oh, trade delegation. Most welcome, China. You are pretty good. Yeah, so this spearman is not going to do much damage, and he may focus on the slinger. The warriors are focusing on the slinger. They're taking a beating, but holding their own. Yes, the spearman retreats. I think we can finish off... Yeah, let's go finish off this Spearman. And then we can always promote later, once we take the camp. Now, as far as our Slinger is concerned, um, I think we want to back up. I don't think we can kill him. It would be really, really close. Ah. <laughs> if we go back here and fortify up, no, no guts, no glory. Nice, we finished him off. Good shot there, Slinger. That is what I'm talking about. And our scout can almost get that camp. So we'll scout along the south here. Production in the city. I think it's now time that we built another settler and get another city going. Although a trader would be nice. We could trade with some of the city-states. But I think we need to get our own city up and running. Indeed. We'll try a settler. Alright, so our builder, we don't want to get snatched up from the uh, warrior. Let's head here. And we have met Gandhi. Gandhi. You're friendly until you've got nukes there, buddy. Come and sample our hospitality. So Gandhi's scout... Or, that's Arabia. I wonder where Gandhi's scout came from. Alright, so we'll grab this uh, barbarian camp. With our scout. 50 gold for us. Outstanding. And we'll just hold here. As far as our warrior goes, we can uh, promote him. And for this slinger, let us move forward, promote the warrior. Outstanding. And this builder, I almost want to hide him back into the city. He definitely can't fight. So let's get our builder back in the city. Get our warrior back up. Oh, your delegation is welcome, Gandhi. Thank you so much. Now, are they going to attack the town, I wonder? Oh. I am Robert Bruce. Scotland may fall with. Be it through a fell that's a way at author of Italia. Oh, that old English. So we've met Robert the Bruce from Scotland. So we are meeting some new faces in the world, and it is getting pretty crowded, I must say. Right, let's get our warrior back to defend. 
And as far as the scout goes, we'll continue along the south here and uh, see what lies beyond. All right, Builder, go ahead and skip your turn. Let's move in to the woods, see if we can catch the attention of those barbarians. Oh, we've got India's scout coming up now. So those barbarians really don't know what to do, it doesn't seem. Tweeds and Haggis. Nice. Your delegation is most welcome, good sir. So they are attacking our slinger. I didn't actually anticipate them to do that. So we lost a unit, but that is Mysticism not bad. Is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. All right, so we've still got the strength when fighting barbarians. That is lovely. Craftsmanship. Let's work on our craftsmanship and sending the envoy. Aha, so we have one, plus two science, plus two faith. Let's go ahead and send an, uh, an envoy to Yerevan and trigger an inspiration for craftsmanship to improve three tiles. Well, I think we can do that with our builder. Unfortunately, that's the river crossing, and he's going to come back to us. But we'll poke out, see if we can get the sheep going. Let's get our warrior up there, heads up. We'll fortify this turn. Yeah, maybe down here would be a good place for another city. Uh, coastal, incense, requires irrigation. We can work on that. Wheat and fish and a lot of fish here. Up north, I mean, we have the silver, but really nothing else. We might be able to settle here and get the silver and the rice. Two silver wouldn't be bad. But we definitely need to get him out. Now, is this warrior going to come for my warrior, I wonder? A lot of scouts running about. Yep, they're coming back. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Now, can we purchase an archer? For 240 gold? Seems legit. I think we need the archer more than um, a trader right now. But we'll be making some decent money. All right, so bronze working in eight, astrology in eight. We still might find a natural wonder. And if I'm going for the faith... Let's see. We can do that. We can also get irrigation. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go with astrology. Maybe, just maybe, we can squeeze that out. Let's get that builder back in town. And see if we can work on a, a wonder down here. We'll, we'll scout out south of Yerevan Sea if we can uh, do anything about that. Let's get our warrior up. Builder, you hold fast. Hey, India, you mind poking this guy a little bit? Let's see. So we don't know where any of the other capitals are, but we do have some envoys here. Looks like the barbarians are going to be content. Oh, nope, they're attacking that scout. Which is good for us, because they're weaker. Now that would take up both movement, but we can also shoot him with our archer. Skip the turn with the builder. Pound him with the archers. And he's almost dead. Alright, so more warriors down here. Now, I think he is so beat up, but I still don't want to risk losing that builder to a barbarian. So, Scout is going to peace out. So, we've got the Netherlands. Pleasure. Sample our goods. So, we are meeting quite the... Uh, Quite the random number of people, but so far, none of their cities are nearby, so we can settle uh, pretty well, I think. 
So he decided to run off into the woods. We'll go ahead and move up our warrior and fortify him until healed. We can send out our builder to the sheep. And then the wheat. And then we'll just pound him with our archer. Get that promotion. Well, at least get some good experience points. And keep running on the coast. So this is the southern uh, ice caps down here. Can't go any further south than this. So we are in a normal age. We might not hit golden age, but at least we won't be uh, behind the eight ball too quickly. Once we get up some gold, I think I'll buy a trader and see if we can get some extra uh, trade coming in here. So there's our knowledge of horseback riding boosted. I think our archer should be fine uh, on alert for now. So we have another barbarian scout out there in the middle of nowhere. And can we buy our trader? 190 gold. So we are a bit from that. Okay. Seems reasonable. Two turns away from our settler. And I think I want to go over here. Settle on the rice. La Venta. Nice. Political f uh, philosophy has been boosted. Now we... Now, let's not send a delegation. Let's save up for our for our trade route. All right, so our warrior builder is good to go. Let's get our food going with the wheat. We've met La Venta. And just in case, let's move our archer over here and put him on alert. We also need the marble bad. We're already losing uh, amenities, and we need some housing pretty bad, too. But we'll, we'll gain a housing whenever we send out our settler. We want to get right here. So Barbarian Camp stood up right over there. All right, so our warrior will go ahead on over here. Our settler is going to run straight away. And our archer will be on alert as well. Builder, go ahead and build the farm. We've improved irrigation considerably. Still no natural wonder, though. So now as far as this, we need... No, we've got plenty of housing now. So the campus or the oracle for culture and faith. I don't know if we can build the oracle. I think we definitely need the trader. We'll see if we can get some uh, production out of this, and we'll definitely... Um, by the time this trader is done, we'll have our second city, and we'll use that to uh, boost the production there. Your delegation is most welcome, Wilhelmina, with an H. So we're all pretty good friends here starting out, which is good to see. We're not going to get uh, trapped by anybody. All right, across the river. And our builder can then do... The luxury resource or the stone? I think the stone for production. We can always build another builder or buy another builder for the, the boost there. All right, so Laventa is pretty there free is no and clear. Deterrence. Having a weapon is very different from actually using it. Indeed, Gandhi. Gandhi says. So let's found our second city here before the end of the episode. We've got some Zulu scouts running around. We want to claim this uh, land as much as we can. The rice, and then we may buy the silver tiles. So no one else can snag it. So if this is the southern cap, I think I want to head more north. See if we can finally spot a... Uh, if we can finally spot something here. So, an unmet player has built Stonehenge. That is to be expected. A lot of uh, the AI likes to rush Stonehenge. We as pairs to camp and meet thy neighbors. <laughs> Blood fades payeth man at great expense. Indeed. So maybe Scotland won't attack us. He likes the, uh, the fact that we're peaceful. So does Gandhi. 
So once we found this second city here, we'll uh, we'll I automatically be getting the rice. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship, and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. All right, so the thirty percent production towards builders would be good. However, I, I want to get up to a religion and uh, and start making a um, uh, a religious site. So irrigation, horseback riding, or bronze working. I think we'll be fine with the irrigation. Go ahead and get that taken care of. For our civic, though, the military tradition... Though the early empire would be nice. Once we grow to six population, that will automatically tick. I think we can work on military tradition for now. So our builder, go ahead and get that production. And we'll get the boost to masonry. As far as our warrior is concerned, um, let's move forward. Yeah, I thought a barbarian scout might be um, on the horizon. Left left so we've met the Mapuche. It is an honor to meet you as well and love to sample your hospitality. So we found his capital. And then our settler. Yes, let's move one forward and see if we can settle this time. Might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get our archer moving up so we can take care of that barbarian camp. We're a couple turns away from our trader. So ideally we want kind of a... Oh, we met Japan. Indeed, would you like to sample? So we are running into anyone and everyone up here. I don't know where we met Japan at. But that's cool. Let's go ahead and found our second city. Oh, and this guy is just running into uh, the realm of the archer, aren't ya? All right, so we'll move our warrior one up. We'll trigger our settler. May I make a suggestion? Yes, indeed. Loyalty, assigning a governor, ensuring each has enough amenities, indeed. So now our early empire has grown. And here, I think the the monument might be good, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase a tile here. 65 gold for the silver, and we'll purchase the rice. So this city should grow pretty well. One food and two housing. I think the monument is the way to go. Or do we go with something else like another settler? Work the stone, get the crab. Found along here on the coast might not be too bad. How much would a settler be? 400 gold, so we don't have enough for that. And the city needs two population, of course. So we'll work on that for now. And as far as our archer goes, we can bop this guy real quick. 59 hit points down. Let's continue up north with our scout. See what we can see. All right, and I think this should be a good stopping point, ladies and gentlemen. Now, nah, let's go ahead and get our trade route going. It's only two turns. The classic civilization, one more turn. Actually, two more turns. That way we can get our uh, trade route going between Swenet and Ra Cadet. Oh, look at you now. Spearmen fighting our uh, club men. We're on the defense there. It looked like a pretty much even fight here. Let's go in their borders. That is a that is a small little town. All right, a major victory here. We'll take it. Waka, a lot of experience. Maybe even a promotion. All right, let's move our archer up to support. 
And then I think next turn we'll be able to come in and swipe the, uh, swipe that barbarian. Oh, nice. Good delegation. And I haven't seen this much green in a long time in playing Civ. So it looks like everyone is being pretty, uh, pretty respectable to one another. All right, so we are almost dead. So if we were to get the camp, get our 50 gold, we get more era score, and we can fortify up. And let's see, I think if we climbed on this hill, it would be faster to get there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is transfer to Swinnet and begin that route. Let's go on around over here. Now that is an interesting thing. So that's going to be the Temple of Artemis Wonder. So in Rockadet, I think we want to work on our holy site now. That's going to eat that um, bonus resource though with the sheep, unfortunately. So we can get two faith down here. That should be fine. So we will work on that. Get some uh, profit points going up. And it looks like Zulu is going crazy as far as the city's being founded. So we might need to get another settler up soon. So we defended well with our warrior. We need to get him out of here, though. Yeah, we're just walking all in this guy's, in this guy's territory. So he has two towns as well. So if we move up one, we would still be able to press the attack. Nice. Took care of those barbarians. And we can get in our own territory and heal up. And now go to Rockadet to get some production. In addition to bringing... So nice, we have currency. And that, uh, that decreased. Awesome. So... We are well on our way, ladies and gentlemen. So a pretty good start, I think. Um, we're founding our holy site. We are expanding our borders here. We have a couple more luxury resources for us to snag. Might not be a bad idea to buy a builder for 215 once we get that. Hopefully we can get some gold uh, from more goody huts or what have you. I think our third city would be amazing right down here in between the mercury and the incense and in range of the copper. So we can look forward to that. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Civilization VI, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Civ Six video. Take care.